Oh, hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, ever since I got like over 10K subs, I'm just really, really, really. If you're a new subscriber, hi, what's up? Um, or if you're just coming by to check things out, what's up? Everyone who's been here for a while, welcome. So today I had a question from one of you about basically INTJs and being seen. Yeah, there are INTJs who are famous out there. There are INTJs who have gotten a great deal of notoriety, but what is the motivator? So that's what we're gonna talk about today in this video. The most authentic representation of who we are is the NI version of us and um, we are happy with that being seen and happy with that direction being seen, but it's not how people typically relate to the term being seen or being known, right? Because we attach that to the identity of the person, which is traditionally that DI function, that TI or that FI. I don't want you to look at me. I want you to look at the thing. I want you to pay attention to the construct because that is the most important thing that's happening right now. But also simultaneously, that is also me in this weird abstract kind of way. Listen, I want your attention. I just don't want your attention on me specifically. So what are the very stereotypical downsides of us as INTJs being in the spotlight? Number one, it brings attention to our FI traditionally, right? And you, let's not bring that up in public. Please just leave my FI somewhere else. I mean, it's important, but like it's not relevant right now. Two, it brings attention to the sensory, which is like, you know, what we do, what we don't do, how we look, how we don't look, all of these things, like the sensory realities of how things are going and looking and doing. It's okay, that's not important to us. We, we don't wanna talk about that either. <laughs> and three, so just kind of a combination of the two, it makes people focus on the SF in general, the two bottom functions that we have and generally are just not very relevant to us in our current mindset and what's important, all through our own bias perspective, of course, which are N-I-N-T-E. So INTJ's fame, right? How do they deal with it? How do they not deal with it? Do they run from it? Do they hide from it? I would say, and I'm not famous, so I can't speak to this on a high level, but I would say that we will tolerate it. We will tolerate the SF game. We will tolerate being in front if we have to be because it's a byproduct of where we want to go. Now, this is where we can talk about how powerful NI is as a savior function and what it really means is when your NI is aligned in a specific direction, if you're going a certain place in your mind, you have this construct that you're wanting to pull together down this path that gets you from A to B and that journey at the construct of making the thing come together. Gosh, this is just so gratifying. And so if fame or notoriety or being seen is a byproduct of getting there, so what? We will tolerate it in order to go to the most important place, again, in our own bias perspective, which is the NI destination. But that being said, the SF is just not our motivation for doing things. We're not doing things for the sake of SF, unless it's in that kind of like very strange um, growth oriented, that is my direction that I wanna go. I wanna go in the area of growth, so I will go down the road of SF way. I mean, I think about myself, like I didn't want to go and do YouTube for the SF allocation. I didn't wanna come up here and go through years of being terribly awkward and not up uploading any videos and um, just not moving forward with my YouTube at all because it was just terrible. But then it kind of came into the process of the fact that I had an NI destination I wanted to get to. I had a certain goal at the end of the tunnel in YouTube and being in the SF world fit into that goal and I knew it would be aligned with the process that I wanted to go and achieve. So it became a necessary reality of going and doing that thing. So in general, INTJs are relatively private people. If you've been watching my channel for a while, I mean, you know, I don't reveal a lot as it relates to personal, personal things about me. In some ways, I could really be doing that a little bit more because when people relate to you on a personal level, it makes things more real to them. So. That's something that I admittedly don't do very well and need to improve on. And I mean, it's good to be transparent. It's good to be genuine. It's good to be authentic. You can be all of those things without giving away information and giving away aspects of yourself that could be leveraged in ways that you may not want them to be in the future. 
And just generally speaking, if it's not that important, there's no reason to share it because you never know what piece of stupid, dumb information someone will take down the line and just do whatever they want with it. So that's all I have to share on this topic of fame, notoriety, being seen. In general, it's just, it's not a priority. It can be a byproduct of the process. And that all being said, leverage is leverage and anything we need to do on the journey to getting where we want to go, INTJs are generally very willing to do. So um, all this can come into effect and you know be changed based off of where that direction leads. That's it for this video. I hope you had an enlightening experience. Uh, if you would like to book time with me, I have a link down below with Snug. You can book a video chat and we can talk about nerdy things. And also there's donations on there. There is business inquiries. And I will see you in my next video. I'll meet you down in the comments. Um, what is your perspective on being seen in the world? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to take the weight of fame and fortune and very dirty sunglasses? So I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Talk, Lindsay. It's not the hardest thing you've ever done.